Last week, we had very welcome news that the Bike to Work scheme is to be extended to €3,000 to enable people to purchase cargo bikes. And there's empirical evidence, at least, that cargo bikes give some families an option of getting rid of their car or their second car. Many short trips that would be taken by car can and will be taken by bike and cargo bike with this measure and others that the government has introduced. And it's worth noting that nearly 40% of our transport emissions are caused by cars travelling short journeys, and these are journeys in urban and rural areas. These journeys, which are currently made by private car, are within the range of bike, electric bike and cargo bike. And with respect to cargo bikes, the opportunity isn't just from, for families, Minister. There is enormous potential for last mile delivery. Cargo bikes come into their own in this area because they are energy efficient, they are light and nimble and can avoid congestion. There is negligible fuel costs. They don't require tax or insurance and they give business owners faced with a driver shortage an opportunity to move their goods cheaply and efficiently around urban areas. Additionally, from the state's point of view, they're a very good thing because they don't cause costly wear and tear damage to road surfaces. They improve public health and they reduce congestion. Whether it's cargo bikes, electric bikes or traditional push bikes, whether we are thinking of people living in Balnamore or Ballybunion, Measures to get people onto bikes, e-bikes and cargo bikes effectively reduce emissions. And Minister, I'll repeat what I said earlier. 40% of all transport-related greenhouse gas emissions are caused by cars taking short journeys. So for climate reasons alone, and, irrespe and irrespective of the evidence that it's good for our economy, for public health, for creating better, more attractive and safer urban and rural environments, and for reducing the costs of the state in multiple ways, we should be doing everything we can to get people onto these modes. And the positive measures in this bill really should just be the very beginning. Minister, we have to drastically curb the sale of new fossil fuel vehicles on our roads. And every new vehicle sold makes it, fossil fuel vehicle sold makes it harder for our state to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And I don't believe we went far enough in this budget. Uh, and electric vehicles cannot be the primary solution to the challenge that we face either, Minister. And the OECD report released uh, just two weeks ago said that in terms of transport emissions policy we are off track and we are not doing enough to bring about system change and only system change can deliver the reduction in emissions that we have set ourselves now system change sounds idealistic and unattainable but as somebody who is passionate about transport planning and urbanism i strongly believe it is very doable and not as all as difficult as many people in this house to uh, believe minister i encourage you in all your future endeavors uh, to embrace system change for the benefit of our communities, our economy, our country and our environment. Gormagod.